Come on out. Come on out. Hey, Popsy. Hey. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. I know that there's a huge hurricane right now, Milton, bearing down on Florida. And I'm a bit concerned, very concerned about my brother who lives in Cape Coral. And today's Wednesday and it's supposed to make landfall tonight. And so I'm keeping a close eye on that. It's a beautiful day here in southern New Jersey. A very cool breeze. Beautiful, wonderful breeze blowing in out of the west. Dry, crisp air. It's so nice. It's certainly a lovely fall day here in October. And unfortunately, it's a bit of slim pickings, I think, for the figs. I do have some varieties that are still pumping out a few figs not many and they're not the best but they are getting nice and ripe uh, these little this little variety of a berry like fig this is <laughs> this is a another yet another mount Etna type I I'm not particularly fond of, but it is producing some later figs. Come on, Poppy. Come on over here. Come on that come on this way. Come on. <laughs> I have a few varieties that you know, they're not... I, I don't even like calling them varieties anymore, honestly. Because all they are is just Mount Etna variants. This one here is St. Rita. I've got a bunch of them all over the place. And it's still making a few figs, as you can see. Nothing spectacular. But, hey, they're edible figs. While some of the other variants uh, and other varieties are, they've, they've finished producing long ago. For instance, this, this is supposed to be Marius, Black Greek Marius. And there's not been any figs on this for a long time. And then there's, you know, I misspoke. This is, this is red Lebanese supposed to be red Lebanese is coming from there and this is this is the re this is the re to here and I've got them tied together and I just noticed that well there is a there is a fig on the Rita but it's still green it's turning but most of these figs are on the red Lebanese oh then over here hey where'd you go stay stay close stay close pops <laughs> Uh, over here I have some figs still getting ripe. Not many. As I mentioned the other day, this variety is not one of my favorite. Brooklyn White it's called. But hey, you know what? It's making some late figs. I've eaten one or two the last few days. And uh, because it hasn't rained... It's, they're not that bad, you know? You can see that they're forming up and starting to swell good. Just a couple now and then. And some of these other varieties are just finished. They've petered out long ago, really. So it's slim pickings. Okay, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Stay near. Look at you, you got a dirty butt. Look at that. Wait till your mommy sees you. Wait till your mommy sees you, and I'm going to get yelled at. So, it is what it is. 
Still, we haven't had real cold nights. We have we had chilly nights. It's cold, but no frosts. Not yet. So, uh, certain things are still producing, and that's okay. Got some nice tomatoes. I've been getting some very beautiful late, late tomatoes. Yeah. Some real big ones, nice ones. Very flavorful. Some of my favorite varieties. Very delicious. There's not much left, I'm afraid, to report. Here is the Tres Esplets, the Pons fig from Spain that I've talked about and mentioned a few times this year, this season. And uh, the other day, just maybe three days ago, I, I picked two, just like these, but bigger. These are beautiful. Um, two big, beautiful, rather good, rather good, especially for this late season figs that I so enjoy. These are ready. These are, I, I don't want to, they, they could be better tomorrow. So I, I would just rather wait and before I open them up but tomorrow, they'll be certainly ready. So there's a few others that may or may not come to fruition depending on the severity of the cold which this cold does feel like it's bearing down on us okay where did you go all right come on i'm supposed to be watching you i've still got a late zucchini plant that's making flowers and it's going to produce some if if the cold doesn't persist if we get an indian summer it makes some zucchini maybe and I've got some peppers to pick which I'm going to pick them all I'm going to finish picking all the peppers today and I'm wrapping things up there's there's some nice peppers out there and I just went to a roadside stand out in the country and I bought another little basket so I'll add these to it and fry them all up and they're make sand delicious sandwiches tomorrow but as you can see it's over okay it's nearing the end of the season and that's fine i'm ready for a rest i'm looking forward to what are you up to come on over here come on come on over come on what are you doing waiting for your mom she might not be coming out I've been feeding the turkeys a little bit of the corn here. Not much, just a little. And the farmer has a great crop. He's a very, very knowledgeable and very, very successful farmer. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? Just beautiful. You can see that. Every stalk has corn, and it's going to be a beautiful crop. This, of course, is feed corn, horse corn, they call it. And there's just so much of it. <laughs> Almost as far as the eye can see. And this field goes and goes and goes and goes that way. I mean, it's many, many, many acres. So he's going to have a very successful crop. And I've borrowed a couple just to help the turkeys along. It actually is helpful because it keeps them from jumping up on the corn stalks and breaking them all down. And a few deer come in here at night too. We get them every day. And they come in and I try to make a little bit available to them. Debbie puts all of her broccoli cuttings and vegetable cuttings and anything left over from cabbage or lettuce. And we bring it out here and try and feed a hungry stomach. <laughs> we got 
different kinds of animals out here, of course, raccoons and possums. And we've got even coyotes now. Uh-oh, speaking of coyotes, Debbie told me to keep a close eye on this dog. Okay, you still over there? <laughs> You get me worried. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful wind. You can probably hear the camera. Nothing like what they're going to get in Florida, I'm afraid. With this huge, huge, almost record-breaking, right now still a Category 5 storm bearing down on the Tampa Bay area. Where are you? Okay. So, anyway, I just thought I'd provide that little bit of an update. Not much to show in the way of figs. I'll miss the fig season, of course, but I've got some that are dehydrated and I'll be buying some dehydrated figs. I've got some that are frozen so that I can continue to make, or Debbie can continue to make fig bread maybe one more time in in January or around Christmas time. And we could even take those frozen figs and make preserves if we run out. But I've I've got enough to hold us over, I think, for a while. And I've given quite a bit away. So with a lovely day like this, I can't say I, could, I, I should or will complain about anything. It's just too nice. It's just too lovely, even though this cool weather is the harbinger of much colder weather to come in the future. As winter bears down on us, the inevitability, the inexorability <laughs> of the next season in line which will approach inevitably good day